Prosecutors say they did not leak video of Sean Diddy Combs assaulting his girlfriend in a hotel to CNN. A new court filing says the defense's argument that the video was given to the media outlet by government agents is baseless. Meanwhile, ABC News has learned a grand jury in New York is expected to hear new evidence in Diddy's criminal case. ABC News senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky joins me now, along with ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer for more. Aaron, this video is supposed to be a key piece of evidence in this criminal case. So how does this new filing impact that? Well, the defense clearly wants it suppressed in some way, and so they're going to argue or trying to argue that it was leaked, that it's somehow improper and probably should be thrown out of court. And prosecutors are going to say, well, we didn't even have the video before CNN aired it. So the only reason we even knew about it is because we watched it on TV. And they're saying there's no, uh, no way that the government could credibly be accused of leaking the video to CNN because neither the prosecutor's office nor the federal agents who investigated the case had access to it. Uh, Brian, how damning is this piece of evidence in this case? Because it feels like a video that took on a whole new meaning once we actually read this indictment. I mean, ask anyone who thought and maybe was in support of Sean Combs prior to seeing that video. Before that video, there was a, a he said, she said. Maybe this didn't actually happen. And then it actually occurred. And now I think most people are in the camp of, look at who Sean Combs is. It was used against him in terms of the bail assessment. That's probably one of the major reasons why bail was denied. And I think it's going to be used against in a major way when and if the trial does start. And I think the strategy here, as Aaron said, it, it's about suppression, trying to remove that piece of evidence from the trial in the hopes that a jury never sees it to have the assumptions and the beliefs that we now all have because we've seen it. Uh, Aaron, there's a grand jury uh, hearing expected today. Diddy's being held without bail. He's tried to fight that a few times now. Um, he's pleading a not guilty, obviously, to these charges. But what are you looking for today in court and, and any developments on this investigation that's also happening in the jail where he's being kept? Well, one of the things that we know is that prosecutors have raised the possibility of additional criminal charges as their investigation continues. Remember, Sean Combs has said not only is he not guilty of the charges, he's never assaulted anyone. Uh, his lawyers have said the truth is going to come out about, about all these you know, specious allegations that have been lodged against him. But, but prosecutors are continuing to dig. Uh, there has been, uh, ABC News has learned their uh, Someone is testifying before the grand jury pursuant to a subpoena. What that testimony involves, we're not sure. Mm. Uh, but we know that prosecutors are still interested in uncovering more evidence that could possibly elicit additional criminal charges. In the jail where he's being held, uh, there's been an ongoing investigation to rid the place of drugs and weapons. Uh, MDC Brooklyn is not a nice place, and so th this ongoing investigation has been focused on ridding the place of contraband. Sean Combs has said the conditions of the jail are part of the reason why he should be released, but, but really his main focus has been on a bail package that he thinks could keep him from uh, doing anything bad to women or tampering with witnesses, and, and so far the judges just have not been convinced. Uh, Brian, what are you watching for now as we await this trial date in May? And in the meantime, since these criminal charges came down, we've seen a number of civil lawsuits yeah. against Combs, new ones, in addition to the ones that already existed. How might that all factor in? Well, Aaron and I have been hanging out almost every Tuesday because Tony Busby comes out with new allegations from that 120 or more people that he says he represents coming out like a drip a little bit each week, kind of how it operates. And I think that's going to continue to color the way that people perceive Sean Combs. And what I'm looking for now in terms of this case is how this grand jury presentation is going to fold out. We're not going to know the ins and outs of this presentation unless and until an indictment happens. And then I'm looking for, are there co-defendants? Are there more allegations? Are there more uh, victims? Who are the victims? Are they going to name them? Are they going to be sealed? But also just to piggyback off of what Aaron said about MDC, I was there this morning uh, actually speaking to a different client. Uh, I don't represent Sean Combs. But it is horrible there. They've been on lockdown for the last four days. They haven't gotten a hot meal, even though the Department of, of Correction says that they're supposed to get one a day. One defendant, uh, not mine, but someone else said it's like sleeping in a bathroom without any cleaning supplies. Like, that's what they're going through now. Far worse than I've, I've seen in the last couple of weeks. And it's been a very dire situation. So when Sean Combs makes these allegations, I'm not surprised in the least because MDC has been bad in the years past, but probably worse as going on. All right. Aaron Katursky, Brian Buckmeyer, thank you both.